This is Logan Hall with the Eastern Shore Regional GIS Cooperative, and you're watching a video tutorial on how to use the Maryland Statewide Bulk LiDAR downloads. In this tutorial, we'll cover connecting to the Maryland LiDAR topography server for a download feature service. At the end of this tutorial, we'll cover the LAZ to LAS extraction guide. MDIMAP hosts the most recent LiDAR data for each county in Maryland. This consists of a variety of LiDAR collections that have been acquired over the years through various project partners including FEMA, USGS, NRCS, and county governments. Maryland LiDAR is available as image services on the MDIMAP topography server and countywide DEMs are available on the predefined download page. In addition, users can access products through the Maryland Topography Viewer web application as well as ArcGIS Online. For those users who require point cloud data, we offer the bulk LiDAR downloads through Dropbox. These downloads include the LAZ files, which are a compressed format of LAS, a tile index, metadata, a readme.txt file, and the executable for converting the LAZ back to LAS. In ArcMap, we can connect to a GIS server by double-clicking Add ArcGIS Server in the catalog window. Click Next to be a user of GIS services. Enter the server URL, which is lidar.geodata.md.gov forward slash IMAP forward slash REST forward slash services. Username and password are not required. Click Finish. Once you have established the connection to the Maryland LiDAR topography server, you can expand the selection and open the status folder. Under status, you'll find the MD underscore download blocks feature service. We can add this to the map, displaying our download blocks that'll link us to the Dropbox directories. If we use the identify tool, we can single click to select the download block and in the attributes there's hot links set up to the direct block download or to the countywide folder which will include all LAZ blocks as well as DEMs at a countywide scale. For this tutorial we'll be using the block download link which will take us directly to the Dropbox download. Notice this download in particular is 10.44 gigabytes. For purposes of this tutorial, we have already downloaded this, and the estimated time was 45 minutes on this laptop. If we navigate to our downloads, our block 30 zipped file. We can right click this and extract all. Again, for purposes of this tutorial, we'll skip ahead. Once you've extracted your block download, we can open the folder, accessing our index, our LAZ files, metadata, LAZIP application, and a readme.txt with directions on converting the LAZ back to LAS. If we hold shift and right click our LAZ folder, we can open a command window here. In our command, we simply drag in our LAZIP application, type space, star dot laz and click enter while this is running we can open our laz folder and see that our las files are being added 
note that the LAZ files are not removed. We can kill this prompt and remove the LAS files that were just created. And go back to our block folder. This time, again, hold shift while right clicking the LAZ folder and open command window here. Pin it to the side. And in our block 30 folder, we'll right click and create a new folder called LAS. Again, in our command window, we'll drag in our last zip application type space star dot laz this time type space hyphen o d i r space and then enter the output directory of our las folder click enter in the command window And now notice the LAZ to LAS conversion is sending the new LAS files into their own folder. Note that compression ratios between LAZ and LAS are roughly 85%. So a 10 gigabyte download from Dropbox will require roughly 85 gigabytes of storage to convert all LAZ files into LAS files. For additional resources, please visit imat.maryland.gov and to access your Maryland LiDAR topography server, visit lidar.geodata.md.gov forward slash imap.